A crucial part of a design workflow is keeping your stuff organized. Let's have a look on how you can improve that in Concepts 5.1. Concepts 5.1 is here, and in addition to the brush updates, which you can check out in another video, we have made a few tweaks to the gallery space as well, with an updated look and the introduction of sections. Sections are another level of organization within your projects, where you can store your work in progress, build a collection to present to a client, or maybe there's some confidential work you need to have out of sight while scrolling through the galleries. Sections are created by either tapping the plus sign in the top left corner or by tap and holding the bottom one down here. Give it an appropriate name. Let's call this one District 9. And you can start drag and dropping your work right in there. These can be opened and collapsed by a tap and rearranging happens with a tap, hold and drag as usual. To ease the pain of dropping drawings in here like hundreds of times, we've added the ability to multi-select. Just tap and hold the first one, move it a bit to the side and start tapping on other drawings to go with it. Now you can drop all of these in a section at once, or move them to another project or a whole other app, both of which I'll cover in a bit. In case you prefer to arrange your work alphabetically or by date, Choosing one of these three as a sorting option will automatically generate a set of temporary sections and sort your drawings in those appropriately. Switching back to manual sorting will restore any setup you have come up with previously. In order to prevent having to do a lot of scrolling around to find all the drawings you'd like to multi-select, you can now broaden the view of your gallery by zooming out using two fingers. This also works the other way around, so you could even present your ideas without having to open each drawing individually. In case you hadn't noticed, we added drop-down menus to the gallery view to ease your navigation between projects. Tap on the title here and you'll see a list of all your projects. These can also be reordered and by tapping one of them the app will take you to that location. This also comes useful when moving your drawings between projects. Select the items you want, open the drop down menu using another finger and drop your selection on the desired project. This can be done in the workspace as well, where you get a sort of a mini gallery that allows you to browse all your projects, the drawings in the projects and move those around as you please using the same drag and drop methods I showed you before. As I mentioned earlier, you can also move stuff around between apps. You can easily make backup copies of your concepts files by dragging them on apps like Dropbox, Apple Notes or the Files app, whatever supports the file type. Most apps with image support will turn these into an image file, the size of which will be defined by the screen resolution of your device. This also works the other way around, so you can simply drag an image file into your gallery and it will automatically create a new drawing containing this imported image. We hope these updates help you in keeping your work organized and gives you more time to focus on sketching. If you find these tutorials helpful, leave us a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Also feel free to comment below. That's all for now, I'll see you in the next one.